One of the main themes of MacroWatch is that liquidity determines the direction of asset prices. In other words, when the Fed creates money, liquidity expands and asset prices tend to move up. Whereas when the Fed destroys money, liquidity contracts and asset prices tend to move down. This video will show that liquidity is contracting again and discuss why tightening liquidity is likely to put downward pressure on asset prices during the months ahead, potentially making the second half of 2023 a particularly challenging time for investors. Liquidity is tightening because the Fed is destroying money through quantitative tightening, approximately $95 billion a month, and because the U.S. Treasury Department is replenishing the money it holds idle in its bank account at the Fed, which is known as the Treasury General Account. And finally, because some of the loans the Fed extended during the Silicon Valley bank crisis in March are beginning to be repaid. This tightening can be seen in the recent decline in the Fed's total assets. This chart shows the Fed's total assets going back to 2002. As you can see, the Fed acquired $8 trillion of assets between mid-2008 and April 2022. It paid for those assets by creating money, thereby increasing the liquidity in the financial markets. It can also be seen here that from mid-2022, the Fed began reducing its assets through quantitative tightening. That can be seen more clearly in this chart, which only goes back to January 2021. Between April 2022 and early March this year, the Fed reduced its assets by more than $600 billion through quantitative tightening. However, when the Silicon Valley bank crisis began in March, the Fed created nearly $400 billion over the next three weeks by extending loans to the financial sector. That money creation reversed approximately 60% of the progress the Fed had made in reducing the size of its balance sheet through QT. Despite creating new money to extend loans to the financial sector during the crisis, the Fed continued destroying money through quantitative tightening. As a result of QT, the Fed's total assets have now contracted back to where they were just before the SVB crisis began.